Hello photographers, today I want to share with you three gel lighting techniques and the technique we're going to start with is warming up your light. Now to warm up your light you need to add a CTO gel to it and this is what a full CTO gel looks like. You can actually get full CTO, half CTO and quarter CTO gels which will increment how warm the light will become. Now I want to show you the more extreme version of this which is why I have my full CTO gel on my Godox AD200 in this newer soft box with my my Cobra gel holder. So let me show you what this looks like. And you can very easily see the warmth that's been added to this shot. Now why would you want to do this? There are two principal reasons. The first is if you're shooting and mixing flash and sunlight together. Very often sunlight comes filtered through the atmosphere and it gets warmed up. And if you add flash in a situation where you're shooting with sunlight, you can actually create a lighting situation that clashes a little bit because the light from your flash is going to be cooler than the light that's coming from the sun. So if you see a photograph like this, where the lighting just looks a little bit off, it is partly because the flash wasn't gelled with a CTO to warm it up and balance it with the ambient light coming from the sun. Now the second reason you would want to do this is for purely creative reasons. For instance, let's say you're shooting in studio and you want to create a feeling of being in the warmth and in the sunlight like this right here. This is a shot I created in studio using speed lights with warming gels to create the feeling of being outdoors basking in the sun. So that's technique number one. Now let me get set up for technique number two. For the second technique, we're actually going to build on what we were doing in the first technique, which is warming up our light. Now in this light up here, I've actually doubled up my CTO gel. So I have two full CTO gels on my flash and that is a bonus technique. If you want to get deeper, richer colors, double your gels up on top of each other. The more times that light has to pass through a gel, the more intense that color is going to get. So up here I'm going to get a really intense orange. Now I want to contrast that orange with something. In fact, what I've decided to do is create the Instagram classic orange and teal look in camera rather than doing it with a color grade. So over here I have this AD200 with two cyan gels. Again I've doubled up the gels to make that color more intense and I have that pointed on the background. Now one of the other things you're going to notice is when this light fires some of this light is going to illuminate my right side and I want that because again that's going to help offset the orange and make the colors in this pop quite a bit. So let me show you what that looks like. Here you can see that deep, rich orange lighting up my face, really warming up my flesh tones, really making me stand out. And then that cyan or that teal on that background setting me off from that and augmenting the orange by contrasting the color. In addition, as I mentioned, some of that cyan spilled from the light onto my right side and that helps separate me a little bit from the orange and create some additional contrast. So really what we've got here with this method is a couple of different techniques. Number one is to add your contrasting color to your background. But you can also add a contrasting color to your subject as a rim or a secondary light. Finally, you can stack up the gels to make the colors more intense. Real quick, before we get on to the next setup, this video has been brought to you by me. It takes me a lot of time and a lot of effort to make these videos. And if you'd consider supporting my channel and helping me do that, I'd be eternally grateful. You could do that at this Patreon link right here. Here. For this technique, we're going to use the gelled light as an accent light. So I've changed this light up here and I've added a grid. And the idea behind this light is that it's going to just illuminate the front of my face. I'm going for something that's intense and dramatic here. And so this is a very tightly focused light. And then behind me on camera right and camera left, I have two 8200s with red gels on them. Those are going to rim or accent light me to create some contrast and add a color that adds a lot of drama to the image. So let's see what that looks like. 
And here you can see I've got just this splash of light on my face. I've got this red that's outlining the left and right side of my face. It's outlining my shoulders and separating me from the background. And that red imparts a feeling of sort of anger and tension and drama to the shot. So with this color, I've created a ton of contrast and drama in this image that may not be nearly as powerful without that additional color in it. So those are three different gel lighting techniques that you can use to spice up your portraits. If you want to get my free guide to using color gels, as well as all three of these lighting setups so you can replicate them exactly, go to this link right here to grab that guide. If you have any questions about using gels, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos, and then get out there and take some damn photos. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Flash photography can be intimidating, especially when you first get your flash gear and start wondering how the heck do I use this stuff to create gorgeous photos like the pros do. To help you with that and to save you years of time, I put together a complete flash photography course to help photographers just like you. All you gotta do is visit this link right here to check it out and then get out there and take some damn photos.